What? Just stop. You must put stop. We're really good at cooking. <laughs> <laughs> sacked in a minute. My manager doesn't know this, but she's about to get sacked because she's trashing it. He's still filming it himself. <laughs> and oh, that's, that's not good. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be attempting to make the chocolate apples, decorated Mickey and Minnie etc apples from Walt Disney World and we're just going to see kind of what happens. Bear in mind I will be trying to make at least one vegan version and then we will have some non-vegan versions going on as well. Let's get straight into it. So here are the ingredients that you will be needing to make your Disney apples. Just to go over that quickly, there is a funny story about the chocolate. You do not need eight vegan Easter eggs, but we looked kind of everywhere for vegan chocolate and we couldn't seem to find any. Uh, and then we went into Aldi and we found these moon free eggs. They were $2.50 instead of $3.99. So we thought, right, we'll just buy four of them. That should do it. And then we went into Home Bargains and we saw they had uh, 100 gram bars of Bourneville for 99p and we were like, that's so much better, we'll get them. And then we carried on walking around and we bumped into these. They're supposed to be four pound and they were 79p for 155 grams. So we were like, well, we've got to get them now. So we're gonna use the Bourneville today unless we run out then we will move on to them. But as I say, you don't need that much chocolate. Since it is around Easter time, if you have extra Easter eggs lying around, this is definitely a good use for them. The other things that I have got are apples. We got Pink Lady because I like them best, but honestly, any apples are fine. Uh, we got some edible glitter. We're gonna give that a go and see what happens. Edible eyeballs. Now we actually plan to put these backwards so they make little white dots for the buttons on Mickey's trousers. We have more sprinkles. We have red icing. Not sure if we'll use that, but we'll see. Now we got these circular lollipops. Um, we couldn't find big marshmallows that were vegan to use for the ears, so we decided we would improvise and use those instead. We have little cocktail sticks to try and hold things in if we need them. And that is it. So obviously there are no rules on actually what to do, but I'm just going to give out some kind of ideas of different things you can do and different decorations and stuff like that. And let's just get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to be doing is making a bain marie to melt our chocolate. So we just have a pan with some hot water in it, a glass bowl, making sure that the water in the pan doesn't touch the bottom of the bowl. Then we're basically just going to crack our egg and mix some chocolate in there until it's melted and then we'll move on to the next step. So I've just had a revelation that I actually like Bourneville. I mean, of course I was being a chef, so I had to try some, you know, check that it was okay. And I think it's because when I was a kid, I didn't really like any kind of dark chocolate and I was so used to the taste of dairy milk that I just hated Bourneville. I probably didn't try it for like 10 years and I just tried it and it's literally so nice. So I don't really know what to say about that, but if you haven't tried Bourneville in a while, try it again, especially if you're vegan. Honestly, it is so good. Now, this is a disclaimer. I am not a chef at all, so things could go horribly wrong, but we're trying our best. So whilst our chocolate is just melting, I have gotten the apples out and I'm just about to wash them. And I've also got a baking sheet with some tin foil on it. And I'm just grabbing some other things, which will be two lollies or however many ones you want with the lolly ears. And I will also be grabbing a couple of marshmallows with the cocktail sticks to stick on top of however many I would like with the marshmallow ears. So the next thing I am doing is just chopping up some of these cocktail sticks, if I can. Maybe I'll just And... Them into the top of the ears, and then grab your marshmallows and stick them in the top. Same for these lollies, 
I'm going to try and cut this out. I'm just going to stick them in the top. And there we are. So I've done two with the lollipop ears and I've done two with the marshmallow ears and then I've just left two plain and we might have a little experiment and see what else we could do with those. So our chocolate is now completely melted so we're going to bring it over and start adding it onto our apples. So as I said before, I have no idea what I'm doing. So at this point I'm just going to add these sticks in so that, oops, so that it makes it more kind of manoeuvrable and I can, I've got something to hold on to. Ideally these would be like giant lolly sticks but we couldn't find any of those so we're using like barbecue skewers. <laughs> You could also use chopsticks. We have some like cute Disney chopsticks from Japan. They are from Japan, aren't they? Yeah. Um, like the real Japan, not in Epcot. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you could also Tokyo. use those. <laughs> yeah, Tokyo. But yeah, we put these sticks in now. So we've officially coated the first one in chocolate. But it looks pretty cool. We're just going to put it in the fridge because it's kind of going to drip everywhere. But I'm quite happy with it. The ears are a bit wonky, but you know what? We've now found that a good method also, you can do it kind of with a teaspoon, but don't mind the books in the background, they would be in my tripod a minute ago. <laughs> um, but if you just kind of put it over and let it drip off, it kind of works equally as well. You just kind of have to make sure it doesn't get too thick. Um, and then we're basically going to do the same with all the rest and put them in the fridge for a bit and then we'll carry on with the decorations in a minute. So we realise this is what happens when you don't do a test run, uh, but don't put them in the fridge or the freezer because you want them to be melted so you can stick stuff on them. So we're just about to decorate our first one and we're basically just going to do the simple sprinkles on the bottom half, like multicoloured sprinkles on the bottom half. So we had a slight issue that the bottom had already stuck, that's why that happened. We're really professional in this um, show. But now we're just rolling, we put some sprinkles on the plate and now we're just kind of rolling it around them to get them to go about halfway up. So if you followed our instructions, which you probably shouldn't have done before you watched the whole video to check that they turned out alright, um, and your thing is now set and you don't want it to be, just dip it back in the wet chocolate a bit. Um, and the next one we're doing is pink sprinkles. So we're just going to roll it around. We tried to use the same plate because we already made a massive mess. Whoops. Um, so yeah, and this is basically what we're doing. Don't know if this is legit or not, but yeah. So this is our next one. Doesn't look spectacular because the pink wouldn't really stick to it and it kept dissolving. And then we tried to stick other things to it, but then they wouldn't really stick because the pink stuff had already kind of taken away all the stickiness. So this one kind of looks a mess, but honestly, it'll probably still taste really nice. We're gonna try a bit harder on the next few and see what happens. <laughs> For the next one, we're gonna try and do the Mickey Mouse trousers. So that's what we've got the red fondant for, and we're gonna roll it out and then kind of wrap it round. Um, and we'll see how that goes. So just roll it out really flat, like as flat as you can. It's really sticky. Okay, so apparently it's like play done. We bought it from Home Bargains, so <laughs> who even knows if it's good quality or it's edible. So then we just kind of wrap it around. That looks pretty cool. Look, what have you done to this? Let's tell you. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> I'm really sorry if anybody actually came here to learn to do this because we're not really doing that good of a job. I but, think we're great. Well, she thinks we're great, but. Um, the next thing we're going to do is grab these eyeballs and we're actually going to put them upside down. Perfect. Like that. Yeah. To make Mickey's buttons on his shorts or trousers, depending on what the weather's like outside. So we're doing the same on the next one, but the next one's going to be Minnie Mouse. So we're just adding the fondant onto the bottom of the apple. As so, then we grab the eyes and we're just going to put them upside down again, all over for Minnie's spots on her skirt. Oh, and we made a bow also. It's kind of dodgy. I think it's great. Oh, 
If the dots aren't sticking, this is definitely my idea. <laughs> <laughs> Dip them in the chocolate because it's like glue. And there you go, Minnie Mouse. I think that's amazing. Our second to last one has no ears. We've just covered it in chocolate, but I can't lift it up because I don't want to break it. So here it is, and we're just going to roll it in these different multicolored sprinkles. And there is the next one. Don't mind that it's really messy. Uh, I only did it most of the way up because we ran out of sprinkles. But it still looks pretty cute. This is our final one. Covered in chocolate. Why don't we just leave it plain? And that is our final one. We've just decided to leave that one plain. So we're now going to put them all in the freezer and we're going to clean up and then we'll bring them back out in a second to show you our finished product. Ta-da! Here is the finished product. So as I said, we are not professional chefs. This was just our kind of attempt of it. But honestly, I think they look pretty good. So we've got a non-vegan Mickey Mouse with marshmallow ears, a vegan Minnie Mouse with lollipop ears. We then have one completely plain one and one with just normal sprinkles. And then we have a non-vegan half sprinkles and a vegan half sprinkles. So there you go. So thank you guys so, so much for watching my video. If you do recreate these desserts, please leave me some pictures down in the comments if you can do that. I don't know if you can or not. Or just let me know that you've done it. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this and please subscribe to my channel for future cooking videos and other Disney content every Thursday at 7 p.m. UK time. Planning next week to do the Rice Krispie Treats with chocolate on and potentially Dull Whips the week after, but we'll see how it goes and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye! <laughs>